Okay guys, this is just my Magnolian uh, foundry. Um, just got my tin in there as you can see. Just gonna pop in some aluminium here. It's just aluminium ingots. Like that. Okay. So what my foundry is, is it's just this bucket here, um, filled with refractory. Cleaning tube um, over there, and a hairdryer blowing air into it. Um, I've got uh, a poker, which I sort of made, as you can see, just to move the coals around. Um, I've got a skimmer here, which is a spoon welded onto a bit of rod, just to skim off any of the crap. Um, got my gloves here and some multi-grips and my magnesium see I just um, sawn off from anodes um, I got them from a guy up in Wellington I'm in New Zealand and my aluminium ingots were just uh, melted down window frames and there's one in there now okay guys so this is just the um, aluminium there nicely Nice and molten. Um, I'm just going to put in my second ingot. Here. There we go. Just going to drop that in there. Like that. So there we go. Just going to leave that there. Put the lid back. Okay, guys. This is the... Uh, I'll just get the lid off there. That's the second ingot in there. It's Nice and molten. Third one. Yeah, pop that in. Okay, guys, and I think that is the third ingot melted. Just gonna grab my poker. Just have a poke. There we go. Look at that. Try and skim off some of that dross. Maybe not. And we'll just pop these ingots. Oh, well, these little bits of. One, and I'll just grab the other, and there's number two. Okay, guys, and th that's the first two of the uh, ingots, that as you can see in there. I'm gonna put that lid down, grab another two of the ingots. Drop them in. One and two, like that. Get a poke and close the lid. Okay, guys, and that's the rest. Let's get two bits, and here are the other two. One, there we go, and. There we go. Okay guys, and this is what it's going to probably look like when you're done. I've just got it in a pail of sand. Um, this is just to uh, help it cool down and just in case if there's any leaks um, to stop them. And I've just put some powdered charcoal in. See this? I don't use salt because it stinks. Just get a few pinches of that and just chuck it on the top. Pop the lid on. Like that. And just leave it for a few hours until it's dry. Well, until it's cooled. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the resulting ingot here, as you can see. It's, uh, it's quite shiny, um, that's just the top there, there's the bottom, and it's quite shiny there, and some chunks have been chipped out of it. Okay, and so I'm just going to break off a little bit there, and this is just to show you how brittle it is. Just go with a hammer, chip it up. And as you can see, look at all that. Sort of 
breaks up in your hand. And, but that's how brittle it is. So it'll be easily uh, mashed up in your um, in your coffee grinder. And I'll just show you some lovely fine stuff. You can see in there. Let's give you a zoom. So that stuff's pretty fine there. And you can make really good flash powder with that. It doesn't even need to be that fine. But I'll show you something that I did bore mill. This is some high quality stuff that I bore milled. Uh, let's see if I can get it open. There we go. And as you can see there, that's really, really fine. That's been bore milled. That's incredibly reactive. Okay, and just before I go, I'll show you what it has looked like when I've split it open. There we go. It's got incredible luster. There's the two bits. There we go. Look at that. Really, really bright and shiny. Then you might also find that the um, the can might sort of partially weld to the bottom. Um, and this stuff here, this that like flat stuff, uh, the incredibly flat plane, can't split that up. So you pretty much have to chip off as much of the magnolium as possible and throw the rest away. So yeah, and that's how to make magnolium.